What's up, everybody? We're back here on Seven Days to Die. We're on day five. We're doing Alpha 18.4. We are in the experimental build. We got a bunch of mods. I'm still working on getting a mod list done up on all the mods that I'm using. Um, but basically, just to go over it, um, like I got extra recipes, guns. I added a few new mods in. Uh, I did spend a full day... I'm now level four, but I did spend a full day doing some mining. So if I come over here and I go to uh, my forging material, I got uh, two stacks of clay and I got a stack and a half stack of uh, stone. Uh, I've been, uh, I got, I made a chest and I put it in there and we painted it up. I did purchase some uh, rebar frames from the trader. And uh, where else? I did make some cement or concrete mix. So I found a, uh, I used the, there was a construction site and I used the, the cement mixer over there to make the materials and all that. Uh, what I want to do today is uh, we're waiting for the morning bell to ring. Right there it goes. So it is now safe to go out. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff that, um, I want to bring over to the trader like these animal skins we're going to sell them off uh, now this this area here this is where I'm coming in I'm just dumping everything then offline because I mean it, it, it gets boring you don't need to see me uh, sort all this out and all that so I'm just going to go through right quick and see uh, what we can bring over to the trader uh, we don't have an axe. Yes, we got an axe somewhere. I think it's up in our chest. Uh, we got a level one. I'm going to sell that to the trader. I don't. I don't think we'll get very much for it. Forty-two bucks. I'm going to sell them off to the trader. I believe. What am I wearing right now? Let me uh, just wear that. Leather chest, iron chest. The iron chest. Mm, it's a little bit better, but not really. So I'm going to keep the leather because it's quieter. Uh, what else can we sell to the trader in here? I'm going to scrap them down so we can get the parts for it. And where is my chest for the trader? We'll see if we got anything in here to get rid of. Yep, so we'll take all this. We're going to head over to the trader. But the first thing we're going to do is I need to get some supplies here. I need... Uh, Iron pipe. I think I need some mechanical parts. Yep, I'm going to need some mechanical parts. Uh, I'm going to take this. Bear skin. And these skins. We're going to sell them off. Uh, I need some duct tape. Uh, what else do I need? Let me see. We are going to make a forge. Now, let me go into the menu and let's see what we need to craft it. F-O-R. So, we, oh, we need some regular leather, some clay. Okay. So, do I got any clay in here? Yes, I got enough clay in there. And I should have enough leather in there. Let's go back out. Forge, we're going to craft that. And we are going to make a workbench. So we need 25 forged iron, 20 mechanical parts, a wrench. We got a level 3 wrench, but I don't want to use that one. I'll check to see if we got another one. A claw hammer and some wood. So let me come in here. Uh, we got a level 1 wrench in here. I'm just going to throw my level 3 wrench right here for now, just so it don't pick that one. And let me go into my tools here. I got a level one hammer there. My axe should be in the inventory. Well, no, I got the chainsaw, but I got no gas, I don't think. Do I got any gas? Parts, mods, quest, trader, crafting, fuel. Let's see what's in the fuel. Do I got any fuel? Yeah, we have 206, so I, I won't worry about the chainsaw for now, so we'll put the chainsaw away. We'll take the axe with us. Uh, let me put this hammer away. I don't need it. 
And I think that's it. I think we can now make our workbench. No, I can't. What, do, what, what am I missing? Forged iron. So do I got any forged iron in here? I, I don't think I, I might not have enough forged iron. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that forged steel. Anything that I can put in the forge box. I got to go over and check there now. Uh, forging, forging, forging. So we'll throw the steel in. Oh, yeah, we got we got all kinds. We got a we got a bellows. So when I'm over to the trader, I'm going to see if he has a crucible or a anvil. That would be cool to have too. So let's make our workbench. My God, we're getting on the go today. There we go. We have our forge is made. Let me uh, organize my inventory here. So we'll drop our forge right there. We'll go, and I'm going to put these outside. Uh, probably over here in this corner. We'll put these outside. So we'll put the forge right there. When the workbench is done, I'll put that right next to it. But now what I want to do is come back in while we're gone doing our adventuring. I'm going to grab a stack of... Take all the iron that we got and take a stack of clay. Do we have any wood on us? Yes, we do. We're all good there. I can close the door here. Let's come in and uh, let's... I'll let this run for about 45 minutes. So we'll put enough wood in to give us 45 minutes. Actually, you know what? I might as well go an hour. Let's go an hour. There we go. One hour. Oh, pick up the wood. And, oh, I got to go back in once more. I got to get the advanced bellows. Put that in. That'll help melt the... That'll help melt everything faster. So let's put you in there. Let's come over here. Let's put that up here. All. And we're going to put our stack of clay in to melt our stack of stone. Where is this stone? I'll put the iron in. And our stone. There's one stack. There's our full stack. And yes, get that going. Is the workbench made yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. How much longer to get that workbench? Another three minutes. We'll let that work. We'll, uh, we'll, we're going to head over to the trader now. Now, I forget where the trader is. So, let's uh, go to the map. Now, guys, I'm going to try to play this. I'll do it in short increments. I have been... Uh, there's the trader. Um, I've been... They're about 45 minutes long. I'm going to try to make them a bit shorter. So I'll try to uh, cut scene whenever I can and stuff like that. Just to make the episode a bit faster. So the episodes are not too long. So let me see. Where is my trader? There is the trader over that way, I think. Yes, it is. So we're going to head off to the trader and uh, sell off our junk. All right, here we are coming up on a trader. We got. Oh, that's Arlene. What's Arlene doing out jumping around in the grass? Boom, right in the head. Get up, I'll get you again. Oh. Stop moving, would you? Oh, move back more. Move back. Ah, oh, man, I can't shoot for shit. Ah, there you go. There you go. Give me back my arrows. Yeah, she's dead. She's a goner. All right, let's go into the trader. We'll sell off our junk and see if he got some cool stuff for us. Oh, crap. Okay, I guess we're going to wait around here and wait for the trader to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our... Axe. Let's grab our axe. I'll put my wooden frames up there. And we're going to cut down some trees just to waste some time until the trader... Oh, never mind. We got a Jeffrey there. We got a... We got a... A John Doe. There you go. Look, take your friggin' head right off. Sit the fuck down. 
<laughs> oh, and look at that. I'm cutting down a tree just to cut down one tree. Well, but Trader Joe is now open. We're, well, we got another, we got another John Hancock here. I don't know what the name of the guy zombies are. So we're gonna we're gonna give them names. This is gonna be Frank. Come on, Frank. Off with your fucking head. Wow, look at all that stuff. We can sell some of that shit. Now we're gonna pick up a uh, quest while we're in here as well. Let's close the door so no zombies come in and bite my ass. Do, 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 do. I hear some more zombies out by the door. They can stay out there. I'm in here in the night warmth of this saucy. Oh, I'm not bad. I'm not bad, Joel. How are you? I got some stuff for you, Joel. Oh, we got a quest that we had to turn in. We're getting 500 experience and 350 Duke tokens. I'll take that. Do you have any more jobs? Buried supplies. Let's do that one. Can you help me with my problems? Yes, indeed, I can help you, Joel. Just be nice to me. Be nice to me, because you can. You got a dirty mouth sometimes. Now, let's sell off all of our junk. Ooh, look at the price of that. 15000 for a beer pelt? Ooh, I like that. What's this, a boar skin for 4000 3000 for the coyote skins. 7,000 for the deer skins. Ooh, I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Let's sell off all these books that I've already read. There we go. Look at that. We're already up to 30, 40,000 Duke tokens. Oh, wait now. Let's do this a bit faster. We'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. Pinecone we don't want. We can get rid of that. You know what? I'm going to sell that gun. Not getting nothing for it anyway. How much is it to sell this? No sell price. Okay. Whatever. That's a recursive bow level 6. I wonder if it's better than that one. I'll, I'll have a look. I'll try that one later. Uh, let's see. I think that's I think that's everything. Now, the first thing I want to check, I want to see if you have a crucible. C-R-A-U. You have no crucible. Of course you don't. I say you got jack shit here for us. Uh, let's see. Let's go through his inventory, see what he's got. You know what? I'm going to pick up all that ammo. Going to pick up all that ammo because we were getting low on it. Uh, honey is good to have. We're going to buy the honey. Oh, a Mac 10 level 2. These are some of the new weapons I got in, guys. These are actually some of the new weapons I got in. A Mac 10. Eh, I don't want to try it yet. Maybe down the road we'll try something like that. Okay, so you don't got much there. Beer, I don't want no beer. Uh, do you got any mods? Structural, no, got nothing there. Let's see what's in your secret stash. Any recipe that I don't know, I'm going to buy. So we got gas, we got the hobo stew. I'm going to take all these, all the ammo. Lucky looter we'll get. Oh, look at the gyrocopter. I don't have enough. I would have bought it. I would have bought it. Uh, iron sledgy, the grave digger mod. That could be pretty good to have, so I'll buy that. And that looks like it's it. So I think we should go off and do that quest. Go check for. Well, let's see where it's on the map first, because it was only. It's only right there. We can run out there right quick. Run out there right quick. Let's see. Look. Yeah, I've been doing some traveling on my day off. We're going to come over this way and check out that buried treasure. Get that quest out of the way. But first, we got some company outside. Let's go look after that company. I heard him. Now I just got to find him. Nope, not there. So, you're not around, so let's head over... And let's see if we can find... Oh, look, we got a drop. We got a drop. I got to go in on the map. And that drop is around the same area. Oh, yes, man. We're going to go pick up that drop and go do the buried treasure. 
I'm right. I just got over here to where the drop is, and this zombie come up behind me. Oh shit! Man, I gotta find a mod to uh, increase the the capacity of ammo. Like this gun only carries five, I think. Six. So I'm looking at the drop, and it looks like the drop is coming over there. So it looks like we're gonna go for a quick swim. What do you mean I broke my fucking leg? I jumped in the water. Oh, come on, game. That is bullshit. Well, I hope we have... Uh... Where are you? I hear you, and I got a broken freaking leg for an hour. God damn it. No, of course you got no splint. That would be too freaking easy. Where are you, buddy? Are you down in the water? Let's see if I can get him from over here. Now, I, I'm not even going to be able to climb this hill. Come on. Oh, this sucks. Stupid broken leg. Oh, morph. What are you doing? Now, where's that buried treasure? I can't believe I jumped in the water. I mean, that's a... Uh, oh. I don't like the water. Now, how can I get down there without... Well, you know what? If I break my leg again, who cares? Because I already just broke it. Is that a deer? No, that's just reeds in the water. All right. Get up so you don't smother yourself. Now, let's head over. Go for another swim. We are soaking wet. And we'll go over and we'll get that buried treasure. All right, we're coming up on the treasure site here now. Now, I find the best way, and I, I can't take credit for this. I actually watch a guy on YouTube, and uh, he has a really cool trick when you're looking for buried treasure. So what you do is you come in on your map, you zoom right in. Oh, I'm going to have to move away from the treasure a bit. Let me move it back from the treasure a bit so I can see what I'm doing on the map. So, if you see right here where the hinge starts on the back of your treasure chest, almost like we'll call it the Pac-Man mouth, he called it. If I put a quick waypoint right there, and then what I do is I walk. Well, i got to get it lined up. So, if I walk towards that chest and soon as that goes off the ground it should be now if I did it right this is my first time trying it if I did it right it should be right under right under us now do I have a shovel with me no I don't what's this building supply tools if I do that I'm gonna be encumbered let's read that book let's read this book and let's read the gas book uh, so I don't have a shovel, so let's make a shovel. So we're going to just make a plain old wooden shovel. No, I got no... I need some more plant fibers. Let me grab a couple of these plant fibers. And I think I'm going to reposition... Oh, we got a... We got a Darlene over there, I think. Oh, look at that. The head come right off her. All right, so let me go back in on the map. Let me see. Let me remove that one. So let's try to get it right there. Okay. So let's get our shovel made.
Do, 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 do. There we go. There's our shovel. Now, let's walk towards the chest. And then soon as that flag disappears, we'll start digging. Right here. Now, usually it's down a couple. And like I said, this is my first time trying this method, so I might be totally wrong doing this. He usually finds it a lot quicker. He usually digs one or two things and he found it. So I'm just going to start here and go around in a circle. No, I didn't want to go down any further, man. There's a zombie over there. And if he comes over here and falls in this hole with me, I am I'm a goner. I think I'm going to look after him first. No, missed him. How can I miss him from that? Come on. All right, you're going down in the water. Did we find a treasure chest? No, I'm not that lucky. I'm not that lucky to find it right away. So we'll just keep on digging until we find it. Right there. So maybe I had to move over this way a bit further. Ha ha ha, there it is. I was in the wrong place. Now, now this is important. When you're doing these quests, you have to make sure that you can... Look at that, right under the bird's nest. Because once I loot that, we are going to get a bunch of zombies coming after us. And I have a broken leg, so I'm not that fast. And I have no water on us whatsoever. No, honey's not going to do nothing for me. Why? Oh, yes, I do. I got water. Let's drink some water. Let's replenish our stamina. Get that up. And uh, cat food. No, we're not going to eat cat food. I'll eat some salmon. And I'll eat some spam. I'm not going to test any of that right now because... Uh, I don't want to get sick. Actually, let's uh, craft these up too to open up an inventory spot. So that'll go in with these ones. So other than that, we're looking good. We're looking good, man. Now, what am I wearing for boots? Do I got anything better on for boots than this? Nope. So we'll scrap you and get the cloth from you. What about our hood? Uh, we never had nothing on as a hood. So now we have a hood. Uh, anything we can get rid of? No, no, I want to keep all that. Let's grab this chest and get ready to sh... Wait now, wait now. I think I'm going to get my pistol ready as well. Load these up. Make sure I got enough bullets. And let's grab this. Grab it all. Where are they? I hear them. And I can't move. <laughs> Is there any more of you guys? That's not too bad. Only two spawned. Alright. Let's head back to Trady. Let's head back to the Trady. Get this quest turned off. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, another two. Oh, this gun takes so long to load. <laughs> I'm not giving you a chance to get near me, buddy, because you are tough. All right, guys, we are on our way back to the trader. Turn that treasure in and see what we'll get. This is going to take a while because I am fully encumbered. 
All right, we are almost back at the trader. Let me get a couple of these stones. Always good to have stones on your hand. Uh, we need a lot of resources because I'm planning on building my own base. Uh, I'm going to start most of it. I'll do that in the offline. So that's why I'm getting uh, the workbench made and all that because I'm going to need a bunch of cobblestone and probably some cement blocks and all that. So I'll work on stuff like that offline because it's just a grind for it. And uh, I'll get the base foundation built. And then when I get the main base built, we'll go have a look at it. Or maybe it's something that we can build during the series. All right, let's go turn in this quest. The apocalypse isn't so bad. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take your 73 Duke tokens now, buddy. Let's see what you got. Herbal antibiotics and a stomach. We'll take the antibiotics. Uh, let's see what other jobs you get. Something fairly close. So the closest one to us right now is clear zombies 1.3 kilometers away we'll take you uh do i got anything else to sell you i can sell you them i don't need them do, 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 do. i think that's it we're going to keep that junk torrent uh okay I'll, I'll keep that for now Okay, so I need to see if you got any first aid supplies. You only got it's beer. Been a real place. No splint. You watch yourself out there. No splint. So we're going to head back to our temporary base. Uh, get our workstation put down. Get some cobblestone being made. We'll get that started. We'll work on that. And uh, hopefully hopefully we have a splint at the base where I can fix this broken leg a bit if not we could go raid a house around if there's a house around sometimes you can get a uh, splint in the house now I did pick up a, a supply flare so the way these flares work it's a it's a mod and uh, you put the flare in your inventory and you can pop it down and you get a bunch of stuff from the uh, almost basically like a drop and usually we get them when we get the main drop Ooh, look at that we got a nice iron node right there awesome awesome now where is my house there it is over there look at that house right there maybe we'll come over and raid that house It's close to ours. I don't think we've been in there yet. Well, I'm just picking up stuff and I got a broken leg and I'm just encumbering myself even more. Don't make sense. Now, also, I want to show you guys as well. Um, like right now, we're like way up north. So when I build my base, I was actually looking at different areas and I've I squared out a bit of land here. I think it's right, no, it's not right there. It is way down here. And I marked it. So this is where I think I'm going to build our base, our main base. So the, my basic design is going to be, I'm going to have an exterior wall. I mean, I'll do the exterior wall. That's just going to be a wall, probably five high. And that'll keep the zombies from getting into our house. And we'll have a couple of different layers of our living quarters. So, like, we'll have one layer for uh, for a garage. Uh, our bottom layer will probably be for, like, I'll go underground and we'll use that for mining stone and see if we can get any resources underneath our base. And uh, we'll have, like, a living quarters uh, and our... 
for fighting the Horde Knights, that'll come right off the main base as well. Now, we got Horde Knight coming up very soon, so I'm just going to build a temporary one over probably in this clearing right here. My standard, I'm not going to put a lot into it. I'm probably just going to make it out of uh, flagstone or cobblestone. Probably cobblestone because it's a little bit stronger than flagstone. And we don't want uh, the base falling apart on us. Man, I've been living here for a while and I've never ever searched these cars. Wow. We're going to scrap them down after too. We'll scrap them down and we'll get the parts from it. So what are we now? We are level 6, almost level 7. Now, I did add another mod, and stupid me, I went and tested it just to make sure that it would work. And if I go into this menu here, and I go in here, I'm showing one death. I, I never got killed by a zombie or anything like that. I got killed because I was in a helicopter, and I hit the wrong button, and I fell from the sky and died. So I don't, I'm still going on the fact that I was just testing the mod to make sure it was going to work. I should have put it in God mode. <laughs> uh, I'll show you the helicopter that I'm talking about. It's the, uh, it's uh, this one right here. So that's the chassis, I think, the UH60, and it works perfect. It works perfect. And stupid me, I was flying away in it, and I hit the E button on my keyboard, and I fell from the sky. Oh, the forge is going. Now, I've never ever noticed the smoke before that. I guess when you get close, it disappears a little bit. Now, I'm going to move that away from the forge one. And let me see. What do I need to make cobble? So, to make cobblestone, we need stone and clay. So that's good. I got a bunch of stone on me. And if I come in here, we got another stack of clay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 10,000 clay. Or no, let's go 5,000. And where is my stone? And I'm going to take half of my stone. And we're going to turn this into cobblestone. To cobble. Right there. What is this here? This is cobblestone rocks. So what do you? Uh, pallet bricks, partial pallet. Oh, these are different things that you can make, I guess. Oh, okay. Pallet bricks base. Cool, cool, cool. So we can make five thousand seventy-four. You know what? We're going to make five thousand even. So let's get that going. That's going to take 83 minutes, so almost two hours of our time. We'll check our... Uh, all right, that's uh, melting down nicely. So in here now, we got some good stuff. Uh, I, was, I, didn't, I wasn't able to get an anvil or a crucible. I wonder if we can craft them. Let me try an anvil. A-N-V-I-L. Okay, no, I don't have the schematic unlocked for that. A tool that can be installed in a forge, it increases the crafting speed of that forge. And what about a crucible? C-R-U. And that one is locked. A crucible upgrade is required to craft forge steel, steel arrowheads, and bulletproof glass in a forge. Okay, well, we don't have any of that. Maybe I can come in and do I have any points? I got eight points available. So let's go to our intellect tree. Let's throw a few points in here. One, two. And let's see this. Your tinkering is proving useful in the apocalypse. Craft workbenches, table saws, and cement mixers, and craft items, which. So we'll get that. Uh, that one there. Uh, how many points we got left? Five. I'll get that. Let me see if I can get one more in here. How many points is this going to cost me? Two. 
And maybe I can go up one more in here. And I think we're going to put... I can't put another one in archery. Uh, maybe put one in here. In, no, not machine gunner. Uh, what would the marksman rifle be under? It's not a machine gun. It's not the... I don't know. I don't know. What's this one here? Improve your hip fire ratio. No, thank you. Not right yet. Not right yet. Uh, what is good? What can we put one in? The brawler? No. Um, dead eye grenades. Uh, we got one in there. Maybe put one in for cooking. There we go. Put one in for cooking so we can create some better foods. All right, next thing we're going to do before we do anything else is I got to check our medical supplies, see if I got a splint. And no, of course I don't. So we're going to uh, we're going to be packing it for a little while. Let's uh, clean this out. Clean all this out. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll uh, clean it all up after. So let's get everything out that we don't need. Feathers, duct tape, that, that. We don't need no eggs. We can throw that in there. The cat food can go in there. Now, I'm not throwing the cat food away because cat food and stuff like that can be used in recipes. Now, I'm going to scrap that down again. I don't need a shovel right yet anymore. We actually got to try to find a shovel. That's going to come down because we are going to open that up and see what we get. Uh, we'll throw the torrent in here. We don't need that right now. I'll throw the gas. Where did I? Okay, I got a bunch of gas. That's awesome. I don't know where I got it, but we got gas. <laughs> and we'll put our stone up there. And we'll put a bit of clay up here. I think we're good. Now we'll read these books. What's this one here? This one is batter up. Gear, you can craft baseball hats and leather jackets. Nice. This one here is a beer recipe. Always good to have. And this one is steak and potato meal recipe. Mmm, that looks good. That looks good. And let's throw our Duke tokens in. We're not going back to the trader right yet, so we'll throw them in there. Uh, yeah, we're good. So, now what was I going to do? I was going to do something. We got no maps or quests, parts and mods. I'm just looking. This is an extender. What does it do? Increases magazine capacity. So I just want to try something here on this marksman rifle. It's only a level one, and I got that scope on it. See, I, and I, I'd love to put that on it, but I, I, I won't be able to shoot it without that. So for now, I'm going to put this on the pistol. Just to have it on the pistol. So now, like, if you look at it, I think the pistol held 16. Now it should hold 24, I think. No, 23. So there we go. That's a little bit better. Now, another thing I want to check. So I got this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify it. I'm going to take off the mods that we have on it. Okay, complete that. Because what I want to see is with these two so we got the compound bow and we got just a recursive bow which is a mod uh, this one here does range damage of 32 and this one does range damage of 63 so we're going to put that up there and we are going to throw some mods in there we got enough room for two more now let me see if we got any more mods for our uh, for a bow and arrow. I don't think we do. Uh, a Cobra 1X mod. That's a scope. I wonder what that's like. We got a silencer mod? Oh, cool, 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 cool. That silencer mod can come in. Where did it go? Did I drop it on the floor? No. Did I right there come on morph wake up bye wake up let's throw the silencer mod in there 
Oh, awesome. So now we got a silencer on our pistol. And let's move our bow and arrow down here. Oh, let's load everything up. I like to have everything ready to go. This is an awesome gun. I love the marksman rifle. And let's get an arrow in you. You're good. Now, this is what I want to do. We'll throw this over here. Okay, we'll move it out a bit. How about right there then? There we go. Now let me organize all that. So everything after the painkiller. So what did we get in here? We got some, we got a repair kit. We got some, oh, we finally got a shovel. Oh, we got a mini bike chassis. Nine wheels, nine engines. Oh, baby. All right. We can work on a mini bike soon. So let's, uh, how do I got this done? Crafting, fuel. Supplies. I thought I had one for uh, blocks, miscellaneous. Uh, crafting. Okay, so in the crafting, we'll put all this stuff in for the crafting. Uh, the batteries, because I don't have one for electrical or anything right yet. And I'm not really worried about organizing all this right now, because uh, we're going to be moving probably after the first horde night. Like I said, offline, I'm going to continue going mining, building resources, and getting that base set up now let's throw now what's better is this fire axe does 91 block damage what does this one do 155 so we're going to be using that one so i'll put you in here that and go in there put all the tools away i'm going to keep that shovel on us always good to have a shovel and let's put the parts up there there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Everything is coming together right nicely. How is our uh, cobblestone coming? So we got 538. I'm going to take them out right now because what we're going to do is in our own inventory. Yeah, I know I got a broken leg. We're going to make some flagstone blocks. Make 134 of them. We'll get them going and get them worked up. So what I'm planning on doing is we'll make some flagstone blocks and uh, probably over in this clearing over here, I'll just make a quick horde base for the first night horde in two nights and uh, we'll uh, get ready to uh, fight that first horde night. But you know what, guys? We're going to have to do that in the next episode because this episode is finished for today. We'll be back here again. We'll finish working on that horde base. We'll get that horde base started up. Uh, we'll continue getting our resources made. We'll do some more mining. I'll do some mining. But in the next episode, I want to do some raiding of some buildings. I want to try to find a splint. I mean, it's hard to keep on going right now. I got 28 minutes left and I can barely move around. So, but like I said, we'll get all that done in the next episode. You guys all have a great day. Thank you for joining us here today. And you guys all take care. And watch out for those zombies.